Welcome back, everybody. It's episode one, one, one of the Road to Stop series. I am Toasty FM, and if you look to the left, um, you might be saying, "What the? How the hell did you guys get in fifth place?" And it's because we have won all four games. Um, uh, since last episode, and it's been exquisite, and, and, and they've been comeback victories. Like I said, first two games, we went down against against Bash, and I said we're not gonna lose another game. We can't. We came back, we scored two goals. Went down early against Bill Lynch. I said no, uh, we're not gonna do that, and we scored two goals. And it's been Elder Silva, Luke Warrington. Uh, everybody seems to be scoring. Elder Silva's had a, have had a great January. Um, he scored uh, lots and lots of goals, and we needed every single one of them. He's been spectacular in the month, and, and just we needed a player to, to step up, and we definitely had that, and it's been excellent. It's been really, really excellent, and we've pulled ourselves out of of, of just the nothingness and pull ourselves into the Europa League spots, and it's and it's outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Fainanch has had has had a problem um, in the last month. They've had a couple. They've had a few tough games. I mean, if you look at their schedule, um, they've lost, drew, lost. Um, so, and they've I mean they've been losing in a while. They haven't won a game in the league. Since uh, they beat, I mean, while well, they beat Sporting back in late December, so uh, I mean that's definitely helped that they've fallen off. But I mean, they, there's still no reason why they can't get back up there. I mean, it, it's pretty much a race now between, I mean, Vitoria at Stubbles out basically, so it's Union, Vitoria, uh, Guimarães, Chihuahua, Feirens, even the Sporting. I mean, they're rolling three points behind them again. This is kind of what happened last year. Maybe they'll pull away, but I mean, anything can happen at this point. We're, we're definitely pull, you know, pulling some great results out of our ass right now. Um, uh, transfer wise, we haven't done much. Um, we brought in uh, Adrian from um, São Paulo, uh, center forward. Advanced forward, he, he's the player I think that could be far more clinical uh, than any striker we currently have. Hopefully he'll get a start soon. A very good player. Um, outs, not really much to say. A couple loans. Um, Drive-in went out. Uh, Drive-in went out um, now that uh, DeVoe's back um, on the men. So he'll be uh, in, the, in the Bundesliga, hopefully getting some time. That'd be nice to see. Um, work on his on his technical areas. I mean, he's so good. Stamica, pace, stamica. Who the hell? What's stamina and pace, uh, balance, uh, acceleration? He has some great attributes. If he just get some technical work in, um, improve there. I mean, he works hard too. Sixteen teamwork, uh, eighteen. I mean, he just needs to work on his crossing, his passing, and hopefully he can learn a little bit of that in his home country of Germany. Um, that'd be very nice, and, and, and I think we're we're playing so much better now. I mean, uh, we we had really nothing a while ago. We had nothing. I mean, not that we had nothing. We still had chance, but we've improved so much in the last month or so. I said I was gonna change tactically. I did. I changed our 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 number ten to an uh, attacking midfielder. I don't think the shadow striker was doing much. So putting him on attack, I think, has helped. Um, uh, and I think I think it is confidence, kind of having people playing um, routinely, not having uh, different guys in there every week. There is an 11, um, and, and rotation is out of uh, – due to form, not – it's out of – not out of necessity. We're not having a bunch of people injured, so I mean – we have Giovanni picked up a knock, but he's only out for a week. George, I mean, everybody else seems to be fine, and that's great. That's great to have. And today we're going to play – who the hell are we going to playing today? Um, are we playing Academica? Yes, we're playing Academica, the other Academica. 
I'm really interested to see if it, I mean Academica might be getting promoted um, this season from the second division. Let's see what's happening in the second division. Um, I I'm not, I mean Academica the other Academica is having big risk of, of going down. Yeah, they might get promoted. So um, interesting, guys. The PA going to be up there. Set the Nets might come straight back up. So, um, so yeah, guys. So this is, so this is going to be fun. I think I think we need to continue our run today. So let's look at the lineup and uh, see if we can continue picking up points, continue our win streak. All right, guys. So this is the lineup today. Um, pretty typical. I mean, this is what's been winning games for us. I mean, obviously you saw that our midfield was different last game, but that was because because they were on low fitness. I think actually they may have picked up some cards. Um, uh, Devoe is back. I was thinking about giving him a start today, maybe putting Silva on the left, but I think we're going to hold off that, maybe build up a little bit more uh, fitness for him. And, and I think Keller Silva's playing so well right now in that position. I don't want to switch that right now. The other series has been good, and then Adriano is going to get his start up top, even though Parade has been, been putting on um, – some good performances lately. I, I think it, this would be a good game to kind of uh, introduce uh, the Beyond into the team, see if he can start uh, having him score goals. Um, let's give him a, a good number, a good striker's number uh, that we have none of. Um, 25 is nice. How about 27? It equals 2, 7 equals 9. That's my... That's... um my uh my thought process behind that um so like i said we've been on a win streak you guys saw it i mean we're playing really well hopefully we continue that uh, this would be a bad game to start um our bad performances up again um and i think um it'd be great um to get to get going so let's do that let's um let's get into this game i mean we can do it um there's no reason why not. I think. I mean, obviously, we have an unknown up top in in um, in Adrian um, as well. But it hasn't purely been our striker that has been scoring all our goals. I mean, but it did get the get the hat trick in that game uh, two games ago. But it's been El Silva. It's been Warrington getting in there, um, and that's really been the savior for us. Um, players in the, in the attack. I mean, I'm not worried. I mean. I think I've recognized that we're not – we don't have a Correa in this team. We don't have a, a Diop in this team. So there's only so much we can rely on consistently. So – but Elder Silva is an attacking player that I could – that I want getting in those positions as, as Inek owes uh, – just should have put that on goal there. Um, but, I mean, Elder Silva scoring goals, I'm fine with. Fair play to him. Um, that's what he's in a player in that position that I would not mind scoring goals consistently. So, um, if you could continue that, that'd be great. Um, so far, Adrian is not having a great, um, first game for us. He hasn't really done anything. I'm maybe give him a few more minutes. Reinsert the op, I mean, uh, put it in there if necessary. Um, which it might be soon. I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll see. Uh, then. But, um, Enek is having an okay game. Obviously he missed that chance, the header. Um, he could have really helped us out a lot there. Um, the players, the teams around us are having struggling as well. Which has been a help. Um, it looks like Pasfeira is beating Feyrent. Porto is beating uh, Vitoria Guimarães. So this would be a great chance for us to pick up some points. Valdesir, Valdesir, great ball in by Elder Silva. Or was it Elder Silva or was it I? I believe it was Elder Silva. But a uh, great play there. Uh, worrying, worried about that, that chance was going to go begging, but we did a good job finishing off. Um, well done by the team. Elder Silva making a little bit of run. Has really come into this team. Uh, Adrian kind of setting up like a pick there, uh, making sure the defender couldn't get to Valdesir, who's making the run um, to the near post. And um, very, very good. Uh, that's a very nice result for us. Um, along with Sporting, seems like they're draw they're drawing right now with Mariton, and they just went a man down. So if, uh, that looks like they're going to pick up some points there as well. Um, 
this might be a huge result if we can hold on to it, which is saying, I mean, which we still have to do. I mean, Academica, yeah, sure, they're at the bottom of the table, but that doesn't mean that they can come into it. I think we're going to switch, uh, bring on DeVoe for a little bit, maybe get him um, making some um, some runs, kind of trying to tire out um, our opponents a bit, um, which would be nice. Um, 20 minutes left here. And uh, they really haven't done anything. I mean, we've been in control most of this game. Um, they haven't created anything at all. I mean, they start off the game pretty well, I have to say. Uh, but since then, um, they haven't had much to do. Uh, Pere there, I think, could have done a little bit better. He kind of kicked it right at their girl goalkeeper. Uh, he had a lot of goal to work with, but didn't do enough. With it, I think I have to give a shout-out to our defense. Our defense has been excellent lately. Um, I mean, really, the, the, the team as a whole has been functioning really well. As you can see from today, um, we've created chances. We just haven't uh, – today has been one of those days where we haven't been able to finish them. Um, but we've been performing really well. I'm really happy with the way this team is performing. I mean, we're still not done yet. We have to hold on here. I'm one of those people that like to talk early. Let me get some knock on wood. Um, hopefully we can hold on here, but – Pretty happy um, with how the team's performed today. Um, this could be the last kick of the game. We need to hold on there. So all he does. Um, and just get the ball away. And that's 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 three points. That's that's all we can get. Uh, there's no four points. We got three points. That's all that matters. Happy for the team. Um, we continue our win streak. Pull away from Vitoria Guimarães. Pull away further from the teams behind us. I don't know how how did Huiwav do. They lost to Benfica. We did get lucky with the with the lineup today. With the with the, who our opponents were playing, um, somewhat maybe Fade Ange could have could, would have be a, would have expected to have won, but they didn't. So um, very happy, very very happy. And um, so let's look at the lineup uh, for next for tomorrow's episode. All right, guys, so that was a big win. It really was. Um, we've had a lot of big wins lately. Uh, huge, I would say. But there's still a lot of games coming up. And we have a game coming up uh, in just a matter of days, five days, uh, against Fade Ants. Um, that's going to be a big game. A win there would be spectacular, even a draw. We do have a very good record away from home. I think we have – I think according to our team report – we have the best away record in the competition, um, which is spectacular, which has been true for the past few years, um, which is interesting. I don't know what the magic is away from home, but that's that seems to where we'll be able to do a lot of our magic. So, And we have Tony Gimarães, and we have Benfica, and we have Porto. These four games could be huge. We could not get any points in any of these games um it would be a definitely possibility with the opponents we're having these are teams are, that are, are fighting for position uh with us these are teams that are top of the table so these games could be huge i mean next five games could be huge actually so um let's look let's count how many we have four there one two seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so maybe do four, four, three, three, or three, three, four, four. Um, let's do, let's do, let's come back against Mifika. They're my favorite team. We haven't played them in a while, at least on a live com. So, and then I, I'm kind of busy today, so I'll kind of let you guys know what I'm doing. Um, so let's do that. Let's do, let's play Mifika. Um... For tomorrow's game and then we'll that'll be a live come tomorrow so um but yeah guys thank you guys for watching um it's been excellent uh our, our results have been excellent lately it's really boosted my st my 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 happiness in the save um i was kind of worried for a while but that just definitely helps um some great results are definitely important so uh so thank you guys for watching make sure you guys like subscribe and take care of yourselves